I know I'm not entirely big on pickups video, but this, I had to show showcase this. This is a huge lot of laser discs I got for really, really cheap. Now, um, uh, I'm a member of the LDDB forum, and a person contacted me on there saying that she had a, her dad had a crap load of laser discs and two players, and she just needed to get rid of them. We worked things out and went and picked them up yesterday. Now, here's what I got. It's at least 50 discs, so I'll probably have a counter on screen to show off and to see how many I have. So, let's begin. There's more than just these. So, got Dirty Dancing, 80's release, Image Entertainment. Can I... Okay, that works better. And I know this is uh, Pan and Scan release. I don't give a... You know, pan and scan, it doesn't bother me. A whole bot, whole lot on Laserdisc, but um, if it was a, a newer format like DVD and Blu-ray, I would care. Widescreen release of uh, Star Trek V. I already got this one part of the um, Star Trek box set, movies box set, but nah, it doesn't hurt to have a spare of these. This one. Okay, it does hurt to have a spare of this one because this one should not exist. Babe, what uh, widescreen edition? Citizen Kane of pig movies. Yeah, I, I haven't seen this in years, actually, years upon years, and it was kind of weird because there were two talking pig movies released around the same time: Gordy and Babe. Yeah, it was weird back then, too. Let's see. Got a uh, pan and scan version of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. It's not a gatefold, but it is a double disc setup. Should be fun to watch. And we got a pan and scan release of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. I just love this. I just love this artwork on there. It's like every release has got a completely different artwork to it. I've got this on Blu-ray and I had it on DVD for a while, but I'll give this one a look. And every release of this has a different runtime because how long this movie actually is. Everything's done in real time in the movie, and it's really neat how they did that. But yeah, this is a good one if you never heard of it. Yeah. Jewel of the Nile, Pan and Scan. I've already got this on Blu-ray, but for a romance adventure movie, these are this is actually pretty pretty good. I've got uh, Harry Connick Jr. the Christmas special and face recognitions coming up. This should be an interesting watch. I'm not a big fan of Harry Connick Jr., but get change that elephant condom up. Frumpy Er Old Men. Haven't seen this in a long time. But I remember it being funny. I had not heard of this one, Gung Ho. Yeah, yeah, these these do have some damage to them. But you know, for for what I gave for them, I'm not gonna complain too much. Apparently this movie's pretty funny as well. We got Caddyshack, not Caddyshack 2. This is the one to watch, not number 2. And this is also a Pan and Scan release, sadly. Original release of Star Trek 4. I already got Star Trek 4 in that one box set, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Same with 3. Pan and Scan release. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Funny. Funny movie. This one actually has a Mel Brooks commentary. I don't know if the commentary appeared on uh, the DVD or the Blu-ray, but it could be a fun listen. Got. I've never heard of this one. Let's get Harry. I thought this was a Harry Connick Jr. disc, but yeah, it looks like a war movie. I, I've never even seen it, so 
I'll get I'll give it a watch eventually. And speaking of Mel Brooks, life stinks. Uh, this is actually uh, it, this is a fun this is a fun little movie from the '80s. It's actually pretty well forgotten, sadly. About uh, a guy who uh, makes a bet with a friend that he can't live like a poor person and ends up get ends up getting screwed over over it. Raiders of the Lost Heart, Panic Scan. I've already got a widescreen copy of this. So, this could be worth a watch, this version. Look, it's got an advertisement for uh, Temple of Doom coming to theaters. May 25th, 84. So, this is a real old release of it. Harry Connick Jr., the music. Uh, singing is swinging. Nothing to say about that. Got Above the Law with Steven Seagal. I don't know if this is widescreen or not. Probably not. But, eh. They're fun to watch every so often. Got the first lethal weapon. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty good little action flick. I'm pretty sure people have heard of it. Another forgotten movie, L.A. Story. First great comedy of the 90s. Yeah, this was pretty old. I remember seeing advertisements all over the place for it. and Yeah, I didn't see it until recently. I thought it was pretty fun. Everyone knows this one. I don't need to talk about it. But, yeah, this is a yeah, Pan Scan release. And we've got The Last Boy Scout. I haven't seen this in a long time. Long time. If I remember it being pretty decent. Same with Broken Arrow. Yeah. And we got Maverick. Back when they were taking every single show from the 60s and making movies out of it. You know, we had uh, The Addams Family, we had Wild Wild West. It was weird. And, not the mask, but mask with Cher. And it's kind of weird, they don't have Rocky Dennis on the back. They don't have his picture, just pictures of Cher. It's like, hmm. That's kind of weird. And we got The Lost World, Jurassic Park. This is not a gatefold, and this is widescreen. Pretty cool cover art for it, for a very uh, mediocre movie compared to the first one. Of course, we got the one that Menatice parodies, Prince of Thieves. Nice gatefold. I love gatefolds like this. And I like this one. This is actually pretty good. Even though Kevin Costner doesn't speak with a British accent. We got the first Grumpy Old Men. If you've never seen it, it's about two old guys who are trying to get laid, pretty much. And we got The Cowboy Way. My brother used to watch this all the time on tape. So, eh, I don't know if I'm going to watch it. Yeah, it's probably, if I remember right, it is pretty funny, though. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, this is one I've never, this is something I've never had before. This is a 7 inch laser disc. Basically, it's just a bunch of music videos. I like that. It's like C-3PO playing a, uh, a trumpet. It's actually kind of neat. Give that a listen to. Put that to the side there. You got Dante's Peak. I already got a, I've already got a copy of this, but... Yeah. It's actually, it's this is actually a pretty decent one. Around in the same summer, there was another one with uh, Tommy Lee Jones in it called Volcano, and this is actually the better of the two. <laughs> but this this one's a rotter. It rots. Got Bligs and Saddles. The person I got this from really liked his comedies and his sci-fi. There we go. That's what Mel Brooks looked like in the 70s. 
Real funny movie. Hilarious movie. <laughs> uh, defending Your Life. I've not seen this one before, but talking to uh, my mom, she says it's actually pretty funny. So I'll, I'll give this a watch. And this is a widescreen release. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, who has not heard of this movie. Probably the only decent movie where the bad guy wins, but whatever. Got Jumping Jack Flash's Whoopi Goldberg. Really, really good movie. I mean, she's hilarious. She's pretty good in this. First Night with uh, Sean Connery, Richard Gere, and Julia Ormond. Real good movie. I think I think this is kind of forgotten, but yeah. See how many people have seen this before, or at least remember it. Oh, and now we're getting into Gallagher. Gallagher is the guy who smashes fruit, but he's pretty funny, and I like this one. I spayed my wife. I like that. That's that's funny. Uh, Gallagher's a pretty funny guy. If a little bit dated, and I'm bumping the camera. That's pretty good makeup. Definitely not Photoshop. This Gallagher, uh, meat, melon crazy, because he smashes melons. We got Get Shorty with uh, John Travolta. I have not seen this one actually, so I'll give it a spin every sometime. Yeah, it's got some water damage on the jacket. Another Gallagher disc. I think this is the first Gallagher disc. Oh, Stuck in the 60s. That's probably the title of the disc. Yep, Stuck in the 60s. Right up there. Or, so, I'll, I'll watch these and have a good laugh because I like Gallagher. My uh, uncle Rob introduced me to him one time and I had a good laugh. Of course, we've got Jurassic Park. This is the CLV set. There was a CAV set from the same master, but this is a letterbox, and it's still worth a good watch. Nice gatefold, and yes, it's pretty badly damaged. <sighs> Crocodile Dundee, if you haven't seen this, it's pretty good. It's like a romance movie. Like a, it's kind of weird. There's three of the, there's three in this series. They made two, then they stopped for a while. And made one like. Then, made, then they made the third one in like 02 or whatever. But these are actually pretty, this is actually a pretty good movie. The second one was more action. Moonstruck with Cher and Nicolas Cage. But, eh, not my cup of tea, but I'll give it a spin. Lethal Weapon 3 with, yeah. Now we gotta get the fourth one on disc. But yeah, these are these are these are good little action movies. They started out action, they started becoming comedy. This is another one I've got on disc, so the fact that this is water damage, it's not gonna bother me. But it is a gatefold. But it is an excellent movie. Long as hell too, because it's on four sides. <laughs> Remember it being on two tapes as well. Forest Gump, also water damaged, I also have it. Awesome gatefold little thing. Oh, the book is actually pretty good. The book is freaking weird, too, because there's a part in the book where he joins NASA and ends up on an island full of cannibals. Yeah, the book is weird. Lisa Weapon 2, all the way home. Danny Glover was judging me, like, had his eyes out like that. And just judging me. Danny Clover, you judgmental bastard. So, this is like the start where they went to comedy. Now, I remember, I remember the scene like uh, Danny Glover comes home and he makes a tuna sandwich, and his family freaks out on him because he made a tuna sandwich and because they were uh, like boycotting tuna or whatever. But whatever. We got Kingpin. Hilarious, hilarious movie. Real, I actually consider this to be a forgotten gem. And look, AC3. No use to me because I don't have an RF decoder, but modulator, so. 
I need to get one of those eventually. Now we're going to get to the second set. Alright, this is the second group of them. Alright, the main group was in the in the tub. These ones were in a bag, but the bag ripped. So, we got... Oh, my knee's killing me. We got Men in Black, the first one. Awesome movie. Okay, I'm just going to sit like this. My knee's killing me. Ah, uh, Moving Violations. Forgotten movie, actually. It's got uh, Bill Murray's little brother in it, and it's actually pretty funny. It's got Jennifer Tilly in it. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. Empire Strikes Back. This is the first release of it. This is this is the sped up version, so... <laughs> Showed it to people who didn't know that they had done that, and they got a good chuckle. Got Dazed and Confused. Funny movie. Real funny movie. If you haven't seen it. Silverado. Yeah, if I can get it out. I had not seen this before, but I'm told it's pretty pretty funny. Far and away. Not my cup of tea. Of course, everybody knows Back to the Future. I mean, this is like everyone's favorite movie. Of course, Speed. Everyone had Speed back in the 90s. I mean, it was, it was the movie to watch. This one's got some spine damage, but whatever. Never heard of this one either. I'll give it a watch. It looks like a pretty good, uh, looks like a suspense film, actually. With one I've never heard of with Roddy McDowell. And I usually, he's a, he's a pretty good guy. And reading the description on the back, he seems like he's the bad guy. Of course, one you don't need to introduce, European Vacation. The not so good part four to the vacation movies, Vegas Vacation. This is the first one in the series that did not have the National Lampoon moniker on it. Another one I've already had, Waterworld. People hate it, but I, I enjoyed it. It's a fun little action flick. They, of course, don't need. No one needs to, you know, be told what this is. Vacation, hilarious movie. If you haven't watched it, go get some fucking culture. Of course. The pan, the pan scan release of Star Trek 1, special longer edition. Too bad it wasn't like the theatrical cut. That'd be a one to get, but that's what... The theatrical cut was what was released on Blu-ray. When they released those uh, box sets a few... Like, probably like seven years ago. The, actual, the original cut of Star Trek 2. Pan and scan. It's gonna need some glue on that one. Black Stallion, later uh, Disco Vision release. Could be fun to watch. Okay, no one I've already had. Star Trek Generations, the only Star Trek movie I need to get on disc is Insurrection. The Rock, I haven't seen this since the 90s actually, and this is like the only decent Michael Bay movie he ever made. Everything else has been junk. Even even Bayformers and even the well he didn't make the Ninja Turtle the new Ninja Turtles movie but it was still shitty. The first Romancing the Stone pan and scan. Fun little adventure romance. Didn't even heard haven't even heard of this one either. Tom Berger, Greta Sachi, Bob Hoskins. I've never seen Bob Hoskins in a uh, suspense movie but yeah. Give that a spin. Got Back to School. Funny movie of Rodney Dangerfield. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I've heard of this one. I've never watched it. I probably should watch it eventually. Give it a watch. Arthur. Air Force One. Everyone knows this one. You know, get off my plane. This one is a rotter. I'm going to have to check it out even later and see if it's rotting. If it's rotting, I'm just going to toss it. Got Steve Martin and Roxanne. You know, this is the one where he's got that nose prosthesis during the entire movie, and it's it's actually pretty funny. Another one I've never heard of. 
Out of Bounds with um, Anthony Michael Hall, you know, the nerdy kid from um, Breakfast Club. This looks like it'd be a fun movie to watch. Speaking of fun movie, Mrs. Doubtfire. And a lot of people just got sad. Star Trek VI, this is the widescreen release from the 90s. And yeah, this is, I've already also got this version and this release as well. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Man of Two Brains. Hilarious, hilarious movie. Nonsensical movie. Pan scan release. Yeah, he can't fuck a gorilla. Another one I've already got. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And Out for Justice with Steven Seagal. I don't know. I don't know if this is uh, white. Yeah, it is widescreen. Right there. All right. Yeah. And of course we got Son-in-Law. What collection of '90s movies would be complete without a Polly Shore movie in there? Because there, there was a time people thought he was funny. Well, I'm gonna sh get the players out real quick. And for the last bit, these are the players I got. This is a uh, Sony MDP-333. And this is a Marantz LV-520. Now, the Sony player, they when I got them, they, they weren't working. For the, this one, it's got a bad belt, but I jerry-rigged something in there until I can get a proper belt in there. In other words, it plays. This one's got power issues. It needs a brand new fuse and a belt. But they both play as of right now, but don't know how long it's going to last. But, you know, all things considered, considering I got all this for free, that it's not a big deal. Also, I need to do some repairs on the Sony. That's not good. It's not supposed to do that. The tabs are busted. I either gotta completely tear it off and just leave it, but I want to keep these uh, machines looking nice. I mean, even the the Sony player, it's very mediocre. I played a couple discs on it earlier, and it it didn't look too good. I mean, it the color distortion was pretty high on it, but it sounded good. I mean, the Sony players have good sound but bad picture. This one, this is a clone of a. Uh, Pioneer CLD D503, I believe, 503 or 504, and it's looks like that. For you.